And first of all, have you had a good break after a really busy but ultimately successful first season? Yeah, good break. Um, yeah, you know, kind of when you're in it, uh, you don't realise it, but uh, it was a pretty hectic 18 months, not just for myself, uh, for the family, obviously, uh, you know, coming through you know, from Japan midway through last season and uh, and going right through to the end of the year. So it was great just to spend time with the family, to be honest. And um, yeah, it was good to switch off and uh, just reflect a little bit on, on last year, but uh, yeah, ready to get going again. It's great to see you and the two trophies, of course. Did, did you get time in your break to let it sink in, really, what you achieved in that first season? Yeah, you, you, a little bit. You know, you're kind of always trying to switch off a little bit, and, and that includes, you know, if you reflect on last year, you're still sort of thinking about football. But, uh, you know, I think we had a, you know, a great final day, um, you know, at Celtic Park, and, you know, we sort of had a week after that to, to sort of get around the place and talk to people and just see... You know, not just obviously on the football club, but more importantly, you know, what it meant to our supporters. So, um, yeah, I had a good week here in Glasgow after we, we played the final game. And then, uh, yeah, when I went away, like I said, tried to switch off. And, and obviously, you know, as the kind of weeks uh, went on, then start thinking about this year. We haven't really spoken to you about that that final day. The, the sun came out, the fans were, were amazing. You you were there with your family. Looking back, was that a real highlight for you? Yeah, it was a special uh, special day, I think, for everyone. Um, we Obviously, we knew we were champions by then, but credit to the lads and, and everyone involved. Um, they just made it a real special day with a really good performance, and um, that allowed everyone to sort of enjoy it in the right way. And it was just great to see. Like I said, my family was out on, on, on the pitch and all the boys' families. And, um, you know, we often talk about <coughs> the commitment that, you know, we all put into to the football club, but our families are also part of that. And uh, it was great to see them share the moment and uh, just bring it to what, see our supporters enjoy it more than anything else. What's the mindset then as we go into the new season? You've, you've set such a high bar. How do you follow that? I think you just got, you know, we, we didn't set out with any specific targets last year just to be the best we could possibly be. And uh, it'll be the same this year. And, and if we can improve on our performances from last year, which we have to, if we can improve in everything we do, then we're going to finish in a pretty good spot. Um, you don't know what that means in terms of tangible um, sort of results. But, um, you know, every year I've, I've started... Uh, you know, football season, uh, I want it to be the best uh, it can possibly be. And um, again, that's our aim this year. You're obviously looking to strengthen the squad in this transfer window. <laughs> is the aim the same as last year in terms of trying to get the business done as early as possible so you can integrate any new players into the squad? Yeah, but I think, you know, last year I was really keen to get people in the building and, and we kind of knew we'd have a few leaving as well. So it was a real you know, sort of very hectic time. Uh, I thought the January window, we, we, we kind of worked a little bit more methodically and kind of knew what we wanted and, and we got it in early. And it's the same this time. Um, I, I, I'm not one to rush things. Uh, for me, the most important thing is to get the right players in. Uh, that's the key for me. Um, and it's not just about them as players, it's about them as people. So, you know, for that to happen, we can't put timelines on things. Obviously, I'd like you know, uh, the earlier we can get players in, the, the better. We've got a unique scenario this year, which everyone knows about, is that we've got a clean pre-season without any competitive games, which is a great advantage for us. I mean, I, I think for me, apart from strengthening the squad, is just being able to work with the group of players we had last year in pre-season is going to be invaluable as well, because most of them either miss pre-season or, or sort of we threw them in during the season or halfway through a season. So... Even working with the existing squad over the next uh, you know, three or four weeks with the coaching staff will be invaluable. Heading off to Austria next week, a couple of games there, Czech Republic, back to Celtic Park, trip to Warsaw, back to Celtic Park again. Six games, you can see them live on Celtic TV, but how important will those games be without any competitive fixtures around? Yeah, they'll be super important because, as I said, once we get to the first round of uh, the Premiership, we know from then on up until the break, probably in, in November, we're going to be... Uh, going at it um, and and we want to be ready we have to be ready um, you know we know we got off to a slow start last year and we certainly don't want to be doing that again with so many important games early in the season so I think it's a good program we've put together is is a mixture of us sort of going away which is great and, and playing against different types of opposition you know we've got a couple of games at Celtic Park you know we've got a couple of sort of European trips in the middle which hopefully you know prepares us for, prepares us for, for Champions League and, and and the travels we got there so we've tried to put sort of a, a program together we think will give us the best chance to be ready 
you've brought in a, a new member of the coaching staff, Harry Kuehl, um, a player and a man that, that you know well, of course. What do you want him to add to the group? Yeah, Harry is someone who, yeah, as you said, obviously through the Australian connection, I mean, we've never worked together, but, um, you know, he's, he's obviously one of Australia's greatest ever footballers and, um, you know, a guy who's, you know, worked really hard trying to get a, a sort of Cajun career going and, um, you know, from afar and, you know, the reports I've had on him is that he's, you know, he, he brings some real good qualities in terms of his on-field coaching, his ability to, to mentor players and I think, you know, for me, it was really important that when the players came back this year that, yeah, they understood that you know nothing stands still. There's constant evolution. We want to be better every year, and seeing a couple of new faces in the staff, I think, is going to help that. He'll bring in energy. I know he's he's super excited about being involved at this level and this football club. Um, you know, he's he's got Champions League experience as a player. He's won it. You know, so um, I think, and he's an attacking player as well, which I think will help the kind of group we've got and the balance we've got in in, in the coaching group. And and you know, along with sort of. Steve McManus, Darren O'Day, you know, I've got a really good, exciting, sort of young, vibrant coaching group that, you know, I know I'm going to put a lot of energy into both the first team and the B team this year.